ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Grantham Townside here in Football Manager 23 with me, C. Waddy. It is transfer deadline day today. We've also got a game against Wimbledon in the Papa John's Pizza Trophy. And then a few days after that, we've got a game for you to, against um, Cardiff City at home in the league. So let's go and get through the rest of the transfer deadline day hopefully without losing any more players and then um hopefully get a good start in the uh, pizza trophy and then let's see how things go shall we well so far in the pizza trophy um we haven't played uh will fish has now transfer listed himself because he wants a move um to another club um Thing is, we want to try and get money for him. If we can, um, transfer status, transfer value. No, we're going to want 500k. We want money for him if he's leaving. Simple as. Uh, I've done no transfer deals. If we look at history, I've not brought anybody in. I just haven't had chance to look at players with Barker moving so suddenly. Um, it's not given me any time to have a look through all the different players that we've scouted. So. Not going to do it. <laughs> um. Right, let's have a look then. De Bourne is on, Davis is on, Campbell's on, Corrie's on, Wood Browse is there. Wagstaff, Mengi. Well, let's bring Cabango in. Bring Mengi in. Wagstaff there. Uh, Anson's going to play. We said, cut goalkeeper. Jacob Knightbridge is not going to play. Yes, he is going to play. Dick Bow can't. Um, right then, let's go. So, it's a lovely new day. As I'm sat here recording this episode after getting the previous video done yesterday. Uh, I have this morning pre-ordered Football Manager 24 ready for the uh, release. Um, in November. 6th of November is the official release day. However, the version I have ordered gives you two weeks early access. So I should be able to start playing the new game middle of October. I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, when Football Manager 24 comes out, I will not be able to do a Grant from Town save straight out the door, straight out the gate with all the new players and the current team and everything. Uh, because there will need to be a, a database file downloaded from Sports Interactive forums that will enable us to play in the lower leagues and manage clubs in the lower leagues. And that usually takes about a month or two after um, the game comes out before it's ready. So, um, the other option, of course, that I will have available to me um, is to continue this save in Football Manager 24 and use this save with all the new features and functions of the new game because that is something that's going to be available for the first time ever in the Football Manager series. You will be able to continue your games from the old game into the new game. And that's something that's going to be present from this year going forward so all football manager games released after this year will also have that feature so if you do really get yourself deeply sort of um into a save you don't have to let it go each year when the new game comes out you could carry it on you know and play hundreds of years into the future with that club nice and neat there's no one to pick out, and he's forced to go crossfield. 
Yeah, yeah it's a lovely Friday. Looking um, now to close out part we've of got the an away ball. game tomorrow. Bold near St. Michael's in the FA Trophy. Constantly looking to link up. Looking forward to that game. Well, that's where he hopefully you like to see us get through um, to the next round of the FA Trophy. It's not, it's, you know, it's not unthinkable. Definitely. We've got a chance. Um... There was, however, some news breaking this morning on the uh, Grantham Town official Twitter site in that Brad McGregor, uh, the young lad that we had on loan from Notts County, uh, who scored the two goals that helped us beat um, Gainesville Borough last weekend, he's now been recalled permanently by Notts County. So he will be unavailable to play for us. He won't be, you know, he's gone. He's gone back. Um, his loans ended, so um, unfortunately, uh, that's going to make obviously some changes to the team. I mean, obviously, we announced yesterday we'd signed a new defender, um, so it's going to be interesting to see what pans out there. Obviously, Brad was more of a midfieldy type player, so. Um, could leave us potentially a little bit thin in that area of the, the, the pitch again now. Um, especially as, like, you know, Ethan got a knock last weekend and came off very early in the game against Gainesville Borough. Um, obviously, no updates on him at the moment. Oh, you've given a penalty away. What are you diving in for, Mengi? Just no need. There appears to be no sign of nerves. That is a gem! An absolute gem! Yes, he's done it! Oh, oh that is outstanding! Unlucky. Pulling the strings from out wide. Do the same? We'll try to keep this alive. They're playing with more zest. Keep the ball. Now, what's next? Given another penalty. Ball on the spot. Can he? Magnificent! Super penalty, pick that one out. What is going on? An awesome performance. How are we conceding so many penalties? Oh, that is outstanding! Come on, lads. We need to see a bit of something. Square from here. Now, how will things develop from here? Back and put the ball again. Short and sharp. Pinged forward. It's a clever pass. Needs Born. to be good here. Campbell. Come on, Sam. Oh, it's a promising build up. Davies. Oh, oh, nice again. What a save. Inch perfect. Is it backwards? Oh, looking great, is it? Hmm. We haven't really had a lot of the ball either. That's also worrying. Let's go positive. Right, Corey's in danger of being booked. So, bring on Imbrugman. Wagstaff. Fired. Benders ain't playing brilliantly today, are they? The 
we've got Ahmad to bring on, and we've also got Graham, who we could bring on. We've also got, um, Matey Boy, who can come on in place of Anderson if we need to. Good driving run. Long ball out to the right. They're doing all they can, seeing a lot of the ball. In it comes. Oh, smart what save. Look at this. Magnificent. What the fucking ball? Well, most of those go high and wide because of their difficulty. He made it look like he does it every day. It into the box. Only dropped it. it on the back foot. Oh, that is special. That was terrible. Ah, uh, tactics. Right then, we've got to um, got to make some changes. Unfortunately, it looks like. Um, because people are not playing very well. Uh, we'll fish then for Mengi. Uh, Ward Prowse is booked. Davis is booked. Uh, well, Ahmad's coming on for Davis then, isn't he? Uh, Campbell has been booked. He's playing all right though. I don't really want to take him off. Uh, Sarmiento for Anderson. Look. Get out there and make a difference, lads. We're three one down. This is embarrassing for me. Oh, TV's on mute. Quick. Turn it off. Turn that sound off. Dun, 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 dun. We need to get our, get our subs on. Can take it up. Oh, Ward Browns. Find it off it there. All oh, bookings is bad. I have to make another subby now. And Dodds on for Campbell. Demand more from the players. We didn't have any luck last season, did we, in the pizza trophy? Playing their way through. <sighs> Why do I think? Oh, Diallo! Oh, how good is he? Well done. That's one. That's one back. It's a really, really That's one back. Good goal and not just the way Come on, boys. He had to read the whole situation nice to at least get a draw. All they can. Just a bit more to do here. Some fresh leggies on the pitch. This could be the moment. And the keeper's done brilliantly to thwart him. How good was that? Not going to get another highlight, are we? Going to end as a 3-2 defeat. Yeah. Fucking hell. Ugh. So frustrating, lads. Mm. Irritating is more like anything. Mm. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. That's not a good start because it means we have to win the next two games to try and guarantee qualification from the group. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, Fulham under 21's won as well, so we've got to beat Fulham. Got to beat Charlton. Gonna be hard. That is gonna be hard. Mm. 
fish rejected. Yeah. Deadline day is still obviously going on. Gonna get transfer window done at this point. And then we got that Cardiff game then. Bradley Foster, South Shields to Lincoln City. Or he's going to stay here. But yeah, Bradley Foster, South Shields to Lincoln City. Did we not get uh, money for that then? And deadline day has closed. So the only big deal really was Shay Barker leaving for um, Bayern. And I did not replace him. Hmm. Uh, decline. Um. So yeah, let's go get on to Cardiff in well, a little over a week time then, shall we? Uh, we don't need to, or well, we do need to register the squad. I think everybody is eligible. Um... Right then, let's uh, get to Cardiff then. Okay, so match day then, Cardiff City. Charlie Webster's the only person who has um, failed a fitness test. Um, we do have a bit of an issue, I have to say, in that um, we have got four players away on international duty, as far as I know. Um, which means they're not available for selection. Whew. That's a tough one. But all we can do is go out there, try and play our game, see what happens. Hopefully, come up with a better performance than we did against Wimbledon in that pizza trophy. And why has that unmuted itself again? Who knows? You may have noticed I've been a little bit disrupted in this um, recording session. I've had a couple of interruptions and things. Um... That's why it's a bit stop starty and there's probably a, a couple of little jump cuts in today's episode. Hopefully, though, I can get to the end of it and um, then I'm done. Oh, I can shut everything down then for the night. <laughs> it's just gone. Four o'clock on Friday night. And I'm already thinking to myself... I don't really want to do streaming tonight. I don't want to do my live stream. It's a bit of a shame because I have updated my farm sim map today on my multiplayer server. And obviously, like, Mr. Helgi and stuff will be wanting to get onto that and play it. And see what's been changed or added or fixed. And will obviously want me to explain to him what's been added, changed or fixed. But I just don't, just don't fancy it tonight. I've had a couple of real long nights the last couple of nights. Not just streaming myself, but then watching and being involved in other streams. And I think it just takes a bit of a toll. It just adds up a little bit. And I think tonight, especially with going, we've got the away, the away match tomorrow at Boldmere. I think I really ought to just have a night off tonight and just get some rest ready for day out tomorrow. But well, that's an option for me. Let's hope for more of that to make See? something happen. Ooh, oh, God. Kobe Maino plays for 
Cardiff. Charging forward down that flank. Plays it forward quickly. Build momentum. Now this man. Was that a guy we have? Oh, did I have Cody Lane there? I think I did, didn't I? I think he was one of our players originally. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm sure he played for us for a, a season or two and they saved, didn't he? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Who was it? We try. We we had him on. I know we had him on trial. Oh, we had Mayno on trial, but he took the contract offer from Cardiff, didn't he? But we had another player from United. Short and sharp. Oh, it's gonna, that's going to do my head in now. I can't remember the young lad's name. Not Charlie Savage. Because I know he went to Hibs. Who was the other guy? He played right back for us. Yeah, uh... Say Deshaun, Deshaun Bernard, something like that. Here it comes. Sure, it was Deshaun. The ball was in their net before they could even goal, two nil. It was fast and furious. It seems from these yellow cards we're picking up, lads. After the transfer deadline day, the, the game asked me to register my squad. For the, the you know next part of the season up until the January window, I've only got 15 players. In my uh, players, you know, in my squad, um, that have to be registered. Some of the un under 21s and obviously the goalkeepers don't. But I've got 15 of a of of a permitted 22. So um, I could have had some more players. We could have had some more players. I probably could have done with some recruitment, but it's so hard when the board is stiffing me on um, transfer revenue and not giving me the money. Pull them out from selling players. They're kind of swiping it all. Pocketing it. Crooks. That's what they are, the crooks. <laughs> Right, make some subs. Make some subs. Right, Will Fish. Oh, Wagstaff. Hit bad for Anderson. Amadou Diallo for De Bourne. Salah Mohamed for Inga Bridman. Joe Bryan for Hume. Dodds for Campbell. Ben Cabango for MacArthur. Right out. Max Corey. Just Ahmad, isn't it? Yeah, Ahmad's play. We can change Ahmad. I've got two. I've got two. Yeah, this is how bad it is. I've got two goalkeepers on the subs bench, ladies and gents, for today's game. Just to make up the actual um, subs bench. We've got Jacob Knightsbridge on the bench as well as Trav as well as Caleb Anson. Because <laughs> of the players on internationals. Um. Job done. Woo! We won, lads. Definitely do with Mengi and uh, Davies back. I'm still not sure if we wouldn't be better off with our 4 4 2, some matches. Because um, there's definitely no doubt about it, having two strikers, like having Campbell and Davies up front, 
would be more potentially more potent than having one striker with an attacking midfielder behind him. Um, I'm sure it, I'm, it's going to bug me. I'm going to have to go back and look at transfer history. Sorry, ladies and gents. Uh, we need to have a look at who we sold. Dijon Bernard, that was it. Plymouth Argyle. Ooh, but that move hasn't worked out well for you, has it? Because where are they playing at the minute? They are in the Skybet Championship, so they're still a league above us. Mm. Another interesting thing, right? Because we lost um we lost Shea Barker, I did have a bit of a panic towards the end of um the deadline in the deadline thing. I did actually make an offer for um won't show it now, but I did make an offer for Lee Shaw. <laughs> Try and bring Lee Shaw back. Um but he wasn't interested in a move at all. Um so, what could I do? What could I do? Anyway, ladies and gents, that's it for today's video. So, next game, well, next video, um, I think we'll do Huddersfield Town and we'll do Liverpool in the Carabao Cup. I think that makes sense. I think everybody wants to see the Liverpool game, don't they? And then I think we can probably finish up with September at that point and then move into October where there's a couple of nice games in October. We've got Lincoln City, Peterborough, you know, a couple of good teams there to go and um, matches to go and watch. So, ladies and gents, I will thank you for watching this video. You have been a fantastic audience as ever. Please make sure you click that like button for me and leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And I'll see you again in the next one. Cheerio for now. Bye bye.